Hey, Nike, checkmate, baby. Uncle Drew Donda collaborations. We doing this. The greatest American alive. In 2022, we still talk about slavery. I hear a lot of black men, they say, if I was alive when slavery was happening, I would have done this and I would have done that. If I say, nigga, you ain't finna do a damn thing, boy. You alive in 2022 right now. And Kyrie Irving and Kanye West is getting busted upside the head by a group of people. And you'll point at them and say, look at what they did when you tried to be powerful, black man. You laughing at other black men as they fighting fights that you refuse to fight. Man, you won't give up $200. Nigga, you so tight, you won't give up $2. And you have the audacity to try to ridicule a black man who gave up $2 billion just to articulate his thoughts. That's a real freedom fighter. When you're willing to sacrifice the things that you have, actual material gain, just to articulate a position, that's power. That's being creative. That's being a leader. Most folks who open their mouth and start talking about things, they never had to endure nothing. I am a military veteran. Yes, I had to fight for what I believe. I've been to prison, all right? If you've never been to prison, then you don't understand about adversity when one black man fights all black men fight when one black man goes to war all black men go to war right now we have black men at war at the highest level an ideological war because we have to be careful if i don't specifically say an ideological war they'll say their black man is threatening violence i don't have to threaten no violence i'm threatening economic divestment what does that mean when gap and balenciaga say they ain't messing with kanye west that means that every black man in america ain't messing with gap or balenciaga huh I better not see another black man walk around with some Balenciaga on. They ain't fucking with black men, then we ain't fucking with them. That's solidarity. If we want to have freedom of speech and freedom of religion, then how dare any group of people tell me that I can't have my own religion? You get to Kyrie Irving and he can't have his own interpretation of Mosaic Law? How dare you? You can't say factually and religion simultaneously, and so you're being spiritually disingenuous as you try to prevent a man from having his own faith. Your right to, you have the right to be an atheist. You have a right to be agnostic. You have a right not to believe. Every time a white person watches a black movie that I think is offensive to me, if you watch Boys in the Hood, if you watch Fresh, if you watch Minister Society, those movies are offensive to me. If you say my favorite part is this and you start laughing about a black comedy, I need you to come sit down and have a conversation so I can educate you on what it means to be a black man in America. I want you to sit down and listen to every black elder that I said you have to listen to. You need to become educated on the black experience. That's how they're treating Kyrie Irving. They told Kyrie Irving you had to come sit down and listen to our religious ideology so that you can make some money. If you don't believe what I believe, then you can't earn a living. This is what they're doing to a black man in 2022 when some of you men say that, man, if I, if I was in an opportunity, this is what I would do. You wouldn't do a damn thing. You would just talk and bump your gums. Black men fight back in the ideological war. Black men fight back in the spirituality war. Black men stand up and say, I claim my identity. I help make America the greatest place in the history of the world. We built this. And how dare you not inherit your birthright? We need to have better conversations of what it means to be a black American. It means to be an American. It means to be powerful, man. And now it's time to learn how to exhibit your power through cultural and spiritual impact, right? You think that you can stop me because you got a dollar, nigga. Fuck your dollar. I don't give a shit about your dollar. <laughs> I got power, baby. Kanye West is the coolest nigga on the planet. Can we start building? Hey, I want to see a Kanye West and Kyrie Irving collaboration on a new shoe. I want to see a Kanye West and Kyrie Irving collaboration on a whole new wardrobe. When black men start cooking, everybody's finna eat. When black men start creating, everybody's finna be fly. This is exciting. It's an exciting time to be alive. We're stepping into our identity. We're stepping into our power. You might not want to call Kanye West a leader. You might not want to call Kyrie Irving a leader. But these men are fighting fights and they're paving a way for, for your son and your grandson. They're saying, man, if Kanye West could run, shit, nigga, you can fly. If Kyrie Irving can run, nigga, you can fly. If Kanye West can infiltrate the fashion industry, then your son can infiltrate the car manufacturing industry. Your son can be the next Ford. Your son can be the next General Motors. Holy, that's power. Your son can own the next electrical grid. Let's have conversations about actual power. Once you say that, I don't give a shit how much money you got. My character, my values, my belief systems are more. You can't buy me. I'm not a prostitute, huh? I ain't no whore. I am a free, living, breathing person, huh? I am a powerful person, huh? Yes. When black men cook, everybody eats. When black men create, everybody's fly. Let's get excited, y'all. <laughs> That's power. We ain't watching no more NBA. Boycott the NBA. If they don't love us, then fuck them, huh?
If they don't love us, they gets no love. Adidas, three stripes, you out, baby. You gone. Hey, Nike, checkmate, baby. Uncle Drew Donda collaborations, we doing this. I must speak it into fruition and watch it come to existence because I believe, man, I got the faith of my ancestors. I got the faith of Manifest Destiny. I got the faith of America, nigga. I got a whole country behind me, boy. The greatest American alive, baby. Get excited, man. You're the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.